cycle speedway calls for dash and quick judgment. Helmets are barred. Thick gloves and tin shoes are regulation. And the bike itself free wheels round the tight bend. There are no brakes. The bikes cost about 10 shillings a week to maintain. So with transport, the game isn't cheap for a youngster. anything on two wheels, and Friday night finds him at Motorcycle Speedway. The dirt tracks have had their ups and downs over the years, but it's claimed that they're making headway again. Attendances at places like Hackney are up to six or seven thousand, and the sport is particularly popular with the youngsters. Many of the riders have graduated from Push Bike Speedway. Roy Trigg is one of them. He used to cycle for Rains Park. Another graduate from the pint-sized cycle track is Brian Davis, a regular member of the Hackney team. The man behind the team, Len Silver, is yet another of the men who started in the game on the bomb site. Colin Pratt came into the dirt tracks from the same push-bike circuit. Local derbies, like the match between Hackney and Wimbledon, are sure to draw the fans, young Norman among them. Speedway riders today are usually part-timers. The top men can make up to £2,000 in the six-month season. Unless a man gets to the top, his expenses can be very heavy, and that's why some youngsters stay content with the more modest push-bike racing. But whichever way the result goes, the boys like Norman are there to cheer their favourites. There's less outward excitement on the small track, but it has its own air about it. 